Hi guys, thanks for joining us again for another episode of Carry or Berry. So Kitch, we've done one of these before. This will be our second episode of Carry or Berry. And why don't you fill them in on, on what the rules are for Carry or Berry. So what we do here is someone at the store selects a selection of knives, and then Chris and I are going to go over them one by one. We haven't seen them. We're gonna tell you if we like it, love it, carry it, or bury it. So pretty easy, pretty yeah. fun. Basically a take it or leave it episode, and we hope you guys like it. Ready? Yep. All right. Ooh, that's a good one, Kitch. Yeah, that's I pretty like good. that one. That's, that's definitely, one. definitely new and fresh, right? Definitely. So I don't remember what launch this is. Sixteen. Launch sixteen. Yeah, we're up to sixteen already. That's a lot. Yeah, that seems like a lot. So Great line, in the last carrier berry, I was like, I don't like autos. I don't carry autos, and then both the autos are picked. So auto. I'm gonna keep that going. Uh, I do really like this knife. The only thing that I don't like about it personally is the serrations. Mm -hmm. I get it though, kind of like tactical knife, cutting rope, seat belts, whatever. Well, that's what I think honestly is the most controversial point to this entire knife. Um, I think that a lot of people would pull the trigger more on this. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna carry that if it's a clean edge blade. Even the Tanto, I think, is something that's not for everyone. Yep. Um, but Kershaw really went for it on this one. They're like, oh, this is a tactical one. It's even bigger. I would say it's one of the larger launch knives. Yeah, um, so it definitely feels like Something that I could still carry if I had a gloved hand, you know, real tactical operator type feeling knife. Like you said, it's got the inserts. It's got a really nice barrel spacer. It's a, it's an awesome overall design. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to carry it. I'm not sure if it's for me. It's not a Chris knife, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. You, think, you don't think so? I don't think yeah. so. You're going to carry this one, though? Yeah, I got that one. I think I'm going to bury it. I love the steel. Um, I love the idea of it. Um, especially if I could get it in a plain edge, maybe like a clip point or something like that. But that's, I feel like it would take away from the entire design. So it's, 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 it's a long handle. It's definitely meant to be more of a tactical carry and not an everyday Chris carry. So mm -hmm. I'm actually going to bury that one. Man, that's okay. It's tough, right? I still like you. Yeah. Eyes closed. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> All good. Ooh, we have a multi-tool, Kitch. It's interesting. Yeah, very. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to carry this. <laughs> um, that was pretty instant. Multi-tools are really neat. I understand the idea behind them. Do you own just, I don't. No. I don't own a single one. And that's just because, like, I don't know. I like my EDC stuff to be kind of slim. Sure. I don't want to have to, like, carry a pouch. I mean, like, I know a lot of guys, and this isn't, like, a knock on, like, the EDC guys, mm -hmm. but like they have like five different pouches. Mm -hmm. They've got like five different things. Sure. Like in sure. them, they all have like a main thing. They have like five different pocket knives. They'll have a multi tool. I just don't. I don't need that stuff. I got a tool right. kit in my trunk of my car if I need it. Yeah, that's good pretty call. much it. You know what I mean? I'm pretty much on the same page with you on that. Um, but I mean, Leatherman makes a high quality multi tool. Yeah. You get your knife blade in there. I mean, I understand its place in the world. Um, even in our industry, uh, we sell a lot of them. We do. So, but but same for me. I don't own a multi tool like you said. I have uh, I have a tool chest at home. I got I got tools in my car. You know, I just and obviously this would probably be more convenient. Um, but I think it would be something that I did throw in like my glove box or something. Yeah. I don't think I would carry it. You know I think I mean? that if I was gonna have one, it would be like in my tackle box. Like that's yeah. the place for it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but definitely. Um, and I think, you know, it, it does have a place for it. I think that's a great one to say in your toolbox and whatever. Um, but as far as carrying, since this is a carry or bury type show, um, I don't think we're going to carry it. No. I think we're going to bury it. So, R.I.P. Leatherman. Um, yeah. What's it going to be? Nobody knows. Oh. Well, someone knows. Ooh, oh, that's pretty cool. It's a sog. Yeah, I like the sog. Super lightweight. It's thin. It is super thin. It's real fidgety too. This mm -hmm. thing. What's this one called, Shane? The Altair XR. Altair. Altair. That's the, the XR, XR lock. Yeah. 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 So this is a pretty interesting one. I think that if you're kind of into the small lightweight knives, this mm -hmm. is going to be an excellent pick. Mm -hmm. It is super flippy, super fun to mess with, fidgety. Whenever I don't flub it, and has a big deep carry clip super ultra deep carry like hanging off the knife mm -hmm. i think i would i would i would carry this oh. this is going to be a carry I'm just because it's kind of lightweight yeah. well so let me kind of clarify it is a knife i would carry as a backup to a bigger knife sure because like i carry like sure. kind of like heavy chunky knives most of the mm -hmm. time but this could be a good back pocket knife for me definitely so i will say that i remember when this knife came in 
um, and it reminded me a lot of my bug outs. Mm -hmm. um, so for that reason, I would carry it. Um, it reminded me a lot of the bug outs. Um, it's really thin, super lightweight. I love the color combos. Yeah. Um, I really thought that was neat. Um, this has got this like light blue pop pop of color on there. Like you said, the real deep carry clip just disappears in the pocket. Um, it's Cryo 154 CM, so it's it's an okay stainless. They've got it like coated, you know. Um, so basically, like with that okay stainless, it's like it's a good everyday knife. It's yeah. easy to sharpen. You're not going to worry about it too much. Good corrosion um, resistance. Exactly, exactly. So I think for the colorways and the build on this knife, it's it's actually doesn't feel too flexible either. Like for these, no, it's pretty pop. pretty sturdy. Yeah, it looks like it's got liners and stuff in it. It feels pretty strong. Um, so the SOG, I am also going to carry. I'm going to keep this one around, and yeah, that's it. Good to be on the same page. Yeah, we got one. Good job, little guy. And over. Mmm, carry or bury. Giant mouse. Named after REO Speedwagon. Oh, yeah. yeah. The band or the original like car? I think it's like a car or something. Yeah. I don't like either. So. Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. Riding the storm out, man. Yeah, that one's okay. Anyway, back to the knife. Um, I, I really like this knife. I think that this was a cool design. Uh, whenever these first came in, I really loved the texture on the micarta. Mm -hmm. It's easy to open. Got the thumb hole. Deep carry wire clip. Mm -hmm. This is kind of just like a kitchen knife. Like if I'm looking at it, it's super lightweight. But it's like sturdy, substantial. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of blade. I'm Magna Cut. It. Magna Cut. Nice yeah. seal on there too. Magna Cut is everywhere. For Prolific. sure. It's really, it's really coming out. So the only thing that gets me on this knife is I thought it would be a flipper. Yep. And there's no flipper. So as long as you're good with getting your thumb in that thumb hole, it has pretty good deployment. Um, bearings. Um, texturing on this denim my car is really nice. Yeah. I love the texture that they did on this. You can flip the clip. It's got a titanium backspacer. Like I said, the satin magnet cut's really nice. And it's actually pretty thick blade stock. Yeah. Um, it's pretty chunky. It's kind of like a real lightweight chunky knife. Yeah. I, I love... call it a little big knife, but it's huge. Oh, yeah, because it's long and super yeah. pointy. And it's got this, like, jimping halfway down, which is really nice. So you can mm -hmm. really get in there on that for cutting tasks. Um, so the Giant Mouse REO, I'm definitely going to carry. I want one. I'm keeping it. I know we can get one. I'm going to keep one. I know the guy who orders them. Who sells those? <laughs> Do we sell that? <laughs> Eyes closed. And red. Ah, Spider Co. Man. Yeah. I'll carry this. Mm. I've actually almost bought one of these like several times. Wow. So this is the what UKPK? UKPK? Yeah. I've almost bought one several times. Doesn't know the name. Uh so they make this in a bunch of different steels now too. They have like an sure. SC two hundred and one. Uh K three ninety. Uh S one ten V. S one ten V. I think that this is really cool. It's a USA made Spider Co, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And then it also doesn't lock, which doesn't really bother me because if I know it isn't going to lock, I'm not going to be like mm -hmm. stabbing stuff, cutting sure. my fingers off. Really lightweight. Got the real cool, like, little back spring on there. Deep carry wire clip, which has been kind of a theme today, I think. A lot of wire clips today. Yeah. Which is my favorite pocket clip. So oh. great. But yeah, I, I actually love this little knife. It's like super slick. I just think it's neat to have knives that kind of like do different things, fill different purposes. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of just like that, you know, like throw it in your pocket. You don't have to worry about being arrested if you're in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. I don't know. If uh, blade 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 blade. Blade. Yeah, blade blade. You don't have to be worried about if you're uh, being arrested in the UK. Sure. So, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Neat knife. I like it a lot. Well, you may or may not know this, Kitsch, but I own the little brother of this knife. Did the Urban. Know? I didn't yes. know. Yes. Yes. I have the Urban. It was the first K390 Spyderco. It was a sprint run. I had gray handles on it. And I loved it. Like, I fell in love with it. I couldn't, it stayed in my pocket for months. Um, it was just great. I, it was something totally different than I ever had. Um, like you said, you can push on this and really it doesn't even move. Yeah, I think like, a lot of people strong. are like afraid to carry a non locking knife, but like mm -hmm. the way that choil works, like, it's, you're going to have to kind of like work to cut yourself with that knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, if it, you cut it, yourself be with tough. it, yeah. maybe you deserve it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you with the Urban, I, I have yet to this day, I've never cut myself on it. So, um, I really learned to appreciate non-locking knives when I got that, so I would definitely upgrade to the UK PK and carry it, as we will carry that knife. Very nice. Okay, next knife. Eyes are closed. You don't know what's a knife. Next item. All right. Carry or bury. Man. We don't even get a sheath? This is a tough one for me. If it doesn't have a sheath, it's getting buried. So, as you know, I have a Bradford Guardian 3. It's one of my favorite knives. Uh, the 3.2 sounded really intriguing to me. Is that what this is? Is that yes. a new one? Yeah. So this is the Bradford 3.2. Okay. 
So, or the Guardian 3.2. So basically, the same knife just has this like sharpening choil here. Okay. And uh, I don't like that. Oh, really? So the thing that I really like about the the Guardian 3 is that I like it ends right at the blade. So it's like kind of like my small like camping knife. Yeah. I've used it. I've actually used it to field dress a couple deer too. Oh. So like you kind of get in there, you can kind of get right up to the edge for fine detail work. is awesome because like my finger's right on the end of the blade if I'm going to like skin something. But doesn't this version have work. a little more protection for your finger? It does, is but it... like I don't know. I've never cut myself. Mm. You know? Mm. I, don't, I don't. I have cut myself on Guardian. Have you? Yeah, because that that edge used to come right to the end, and I reached over, picked it up, and it was poking me. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a personal a, a problem. Issue. Yeah, it was. So it was real sharp, though. They are stupid sharp. Mine is three uh, V, and it even like came from a factory, like shaving sharp. So I'm not gonna carry it just because I have one that mm-hmm. I think is kind of like a little bit better. But I see what people wanted. They wanted one that gets your finger away from that. It's a little bit safer to use. And it's kind of like a sharpening choil, too, so mm-hmm. like you can yeah. run right from there. Easy sharp. It's just not an improvement that I wanted. To That's do. amazing. So You own a Bradford, and you're going to bury a Bradford. Yeah. That's impressive. That specific Bradford. <laughs> so the 3.2 has CPM MagnaCut, guys, which is super cool. MagnaCut's everywhere. It is. Uh, stonewashed. Um, we've got the micarta scales you're used to. I don't know if the length changed on this at all uh, with adding that choil. I don't know if it's like maybe a little little longer, possibly. But So I love the grip. I, I actually really appreciate it, really enjoy it. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. Um, so I would definitely carry this knife. I'm going to keep the Guardian 3.2. I like the upgrade. I like that my finger is not going to get anywhere near the edge. Um, so I'm cool with that because their knives come really, really sharp. Um, so yeah, highly recommend one. Like you said, it's, it's a good you field dress with it. It's a good everyday carry knife, but it's tough. They're a tough knife. It's like an awesome like if you carry a, like a fixed blade in the mm-hmm. woods or something. That's like the perfect backup for like food oh, prep, yeah. anything like that. Hunters, campers, you guys got to get one of these. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna carry that knife. I'm making a dirty cage. Okay, like a cat. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have seen all the items for the week kitsch. Um, we have them all right here displayed uh, for our favorite ones, the ones we love the most, the ones we're going to carry. Um, and what is your top pick for episode two? I'm going to go UKPK. Oh, wow. Yeah. That surprises me. This is my uh, number one pick. I just like how it's like so thin and slicing. Like I said, yeah. I'm kind of like on the fence about buying one anyway, mm-hmm. and I probably will after today since I made it my pick. So. Well, honestly, I'm not super surprised because you're a traditional knife guy. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got a large collection of GECs and yep. stuff like that, so I can actually see this being a modern slip joint that's like, yep. you know, I can see that definitely being Nail a kitchen. Head. You know um, <laughs> I can definitely see it. So while I was surprised on the first one, I can definitely see that one. I'm going to go with the REO from Giant Mouse. Yep. Um, this knife is just too cool. Um, that's why I'm going to go with it. I was, I was on the fence about the Bradford. That was a, it was a close number two. But the REO is just so fun to, to open, and it's so pointy and slicey and piercy and just just awesome. It's a really great knife, so I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, it's a cool knife. Mm-hmm. I can support that choice. Cool. All right, guys, that's what we got for you this week. So carry a berry. Pretty fun. I like it. Chris gotta, likes it. Blast. If you guys like it, let us know in the comments. We'll definitely do more of these because they're pretty fun. Also, while you're down there, make sure you guys let us know what knife you would carry or berry. And if you guys want to buy any of these, links down below. So see you next week. Thanks for watching.